Hi everyone, it's Vicky here, and this week I have a fun event. I am featuring waffle flowers, and I will be creating 5 videos in the next 5 days. For my card today, I am going for a gift card holder. So I am using this uh, die set, which is called gift bag dies. And uh, you can create a little uh, gift bag if you want to, or you can create a little pocket, just like I'm going to do today, to hold your gift card. So I'm just going to separate everything with my tool. To cut out my pocket, I am running it through my Sizzix machine, and I have used a green pattern paper that I had in my stash. I am going for a traditional colored theme card today. And if you take a closer look, you will see that uh, the die not only cuts out the pocket, but it also creates those uh, scoring lines. So I am just um, folding all those flaps on the inside. And I'm also using my bone folder just to make sure that everything is nicely folded. Now I'm going to add the sentiment that says a gift for you. And this comes from a waffle flower stamp set, which is called Homemade Christmas Set. I am placing the little pocket on the corner of my Misty. I'm going to go over it with my embossing tool, just to make sure that it removes any static electricity. I'm going to place the stamp on top, and I'm also going to use a few little stars that are on the set, just to embellish my front pocket a little bit more. Now I'm going to ink up the sentiment and the little stars with my Versa marking, close the door of my Misty, make sure that everything is nicely stamped, and now I'm going to apply my embossing powder. I'm going to go with white embossing powder, and I'm using my Nouveau embossing powder here. And as always, you can find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. I am melting my embossing powder with my heat gun. And now the front pocket is ready. All I have to do now is to finish off the bag by sticking the handle on top. So I have cut it out by using white cardstock. And I'm going to use a little bit of um, tape adhesive at the top of my bag and stick the handle there. I'm going to use a card base that's uh, dark green and uh, it's a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. So you can see that it's a top folding card. I'm also going to use this uh, pattern paper as my card base. I'm using some tape adhesive at the back and uh, this is a great design. It's really easy to make and reproduce and uh, you can uh, pretty much use all the scraps that you have uh, left over from uh, previous Christmas uh, pattern paper collections. So I am going to add a little bit of uh, tape adhesive on the flaps and just make sure that you use a very strong adhesive here since you don't want your pocket to fall apart. And now it's time to stick that on top of my card base. I'm going to make sure that I center it. And you can see that I end up with a pocket at the top of the gift bag where you can slide in your gift card. It's a pretty simple design, easy to recreate, and you can uh, end up with uh, loads of those uh, cards to hand out as gifts. So I'm going to embellish mine a little bit more. And I'm going to stick this little soldier. This comes from a little B sticker set. And I'm also going to tie a bow using some uh, thread and uh, add a tiny little bell. And since I'm going with a traditional colored combo here, I think that a touch of gold is perfect for this card. And uh, that's why I'm using a uh, gold thread as well as that gold uh, little bell. I'm going to thread that through and then tie a bow around the handle of uh, my bag. And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit me tomorrow for another video featuring waffle flowers. Thank you all for watching!